Today we solve some questions in simple interest. In my previous episode, we have seen the introduction, some basic concepts and questions. We see some more questions here. And before solving uh, these questions, let us uh, recollect. I told you, avoid formulae as much as possible. Without formulae, we can solve most of the questions here. So I told you, principal is always 100%. If 5% is the rate of interest per annum, one year is 5%. If it is two years, 10% is the rate of interest. 3 years 15 percent, 4 years 20 percent like that. If it is 6 percent rate of interest per annum, 2 years is 12 percent, 3 years 18 percent. So 18 percent is the interest on the principal. So 18 percent on principal is for 3 years. The rate of interest is always the interest on principal, the one year interest on principal is what person? That is the rate of interest. Okay? So, you remember like this. If at all you have the total interest, the total interest is what percent of the total principal? That is for whole period. If you bring it to one year, that is the rate of interest. Okay. You will understand the concept which I told you while solving all these questions. Okay. See the first question. A sum of 7,800 is lent out in two parts in such a way that the interest on first part at 7% per annum for 5 years is same as the interest on second part at 7.5% per annum for 4 years. What is the first part? Okay. The total money is 7,800 but this 7,800 is not lent out uh, as a whole sum, we are divided into two parts and uh, lent out. We don't know the parts. That is what we are supposed to find out. On first part, we lent out at 7% for 5 years. And second part, we lent out at 7.5% for 4 years. But the interest, whatever we receive on first part, and the interest, whatever we have received on second part is same. That's what he said. What is the first part? It's a question. Okay, how we solve this question generally? We don't know the parts, each part. So, first part we take as x, second part is 7800 minus x. And how much interest we receive on first part? x into 7 into 5. How much is by 100? How much interest we receive? 7800 minus x into 7.5 into 4. You equalize because you get interest on first part, you got interest on second part. Equalize, you get the total, I mean, uh, x value conventional approach okay but see the simple method simple shortcut as we don't know the parts i take these parts as x and y okay these parts are x and y say first part is x second part is y on first part okay seven percent is the rate of interest that is for five years okay i told you seven percent is one year five years means it will be 35 percent so, 35% is the interest on first part. So, first part interest is 35%. Okay. What about second part interest? 7.5% for 4 years. That means 30%. 7.5 into 4. 30%. 30% of Y is the interest on second part. So, interest on first part, interest on second part. We know interests are same. Okay. Let us see the ratio x by y is nothing but 30 by 35 or 6 by 5, 6 by 7. So, 6 by 7 is the ratio. That means out of total amount 7800, first part is 6 part, second part is 7 part. That's it. So, what is the first part? Total is 13 parts. 7800, 13 parts means 7800 minus 13. 600 is each part. So, 6 parts means 3600. 7 parts means 4200. So, first part is 3600 is our answer. That's it. Very simple. So, 3600 is the first part. If they are second part, that is 4200. Easy way to calculate. Fine. Now, let us solve the second question. The simple interest on 1650. 
will be less than the interest on 1800 at 4% per annum by 30 rupees. Find the time. Okay, what he says, the simple interest on 1650, there are two amounts, two principles. One is 1650, other one is 1800. Whatever the interest we receive on 1650, whatever the interest we receive on 1800, the difference is 30 rupees. Okay? For rate of interest is same, time is same. Okay? And he is asking what is the time? He has given rate of interest. Okay. Generally, we calculate uh, separate uh, what is the interest we receive on uh, first part 1650. 1650, 4% x time. 1800, 4% x time. The difference between these two is 30 rupees. No, let us not solve in that way. See the simple approach. The difference in principal is 150 rupees. This principal both amounts, the difference is 150. On 150 rupees, the difference in interest is 30 rupees. So 30 rupees interest we received on 150 rupees. That is how much percent? 30 rupees interest on 150 is 20 percent. 10 percent of 150 is 50. 20 percent is 30. So 30 rupees is nothing but 20 percent interest. So totally this is 30 rupees is 20 percent interest for the whole period. The period we don't know but that is 20 percent. But uh, we know that one year uh, interest is 4 percent. 20 percent interest means 5 years. So the period is, the time is 5 years is our answer. Pen also not required. The time is 5 years. Right? Next one. A man lent a sum of money at 4 percent per annum simple interest in 8 years. In, in 8 years the interest Amounted to 3400 less than the sum lent. What is the sum lent? Okay, he's asking the principal. We don't know the principal. The principal actually we lent for 4% for 8 years. For 8 years period we lent the money at 4% rate. Then how much interest we received here? The interest is 3400 less than the principal. Anyway that is unknown. So generally you take as X. If the principal is X. Our interest is 3400 less than x means x minus 3400. What is that x? The conventional approach you know how to solve. x is the principal, time is 8, rate of interest 4 percent, x into 8 into 4 by 100 is x minus 3400. The simple interest is x minus 3400. No, I am not interested. The simple way is, I told you the principal is 100 percent. We received 8 percent, 4 percent interest for one year. For 8 years, it will be 32%. So, interest is 32%, principal is 100%. So, interest is how much less than principal? 68% less than the principal. But interest is how much less than actually? 3400 less than the principal. That means, 68% is nothing but 3400 rupees. The total principal means 100%. 100% means how much? Simple. 6800 times is 6800. 34 means half 50 times. This is 50 times. 50 times is 5000. So the principal is 5000 rupees. Our answer. Right. Fine. Next. A sum was invested at simple interest at a certain rate for two years. It would have fetched 180 rupees had it been invested at 2% higher rate. Find the sum. We don't know the sum, the sum money is there that we invested. If with some rate of interest we invested, we don't know the rate of interest. But if that rate of interest is increased by 2%, then we would have got 180 rupees more. With 2% extra rate of interest, 180 rupees more we will get. What is the principle? Okay. Simple. Very simply you can understand. With 2% extra rate, we are getting 180 more. 2% is the interest for one year. 
for two years we invested so how much is the interest extra interest four percent is the extra interest how much money is that one 180 that means that four percent is 180 rupees four percent money is 180 rupees what is the principal principal is 100 percent 100 percent is how much 4% is 180, 100 percent is how much? How do you calculate? You write 100 by 4 into 180. Don't do that one. Simple. 4% is 180. 40% is 1800. Another 14%, another 1800. 3600. Another 20%, 900. 3600 plus 900, 4500. So 4500 is the principal. Fine. Hope you are clear. See the next question. A sum of 1400 becomes 1652 in 3 years at a certain rate of simple interest. What will be the amount if the rate of interest is increased by 3%? Interesting. 1400 rupees is becoming 1652. 1400 is principal, 1652 is amount. That is for 3 years period. We don't know the rate of interest. If the rate of interest is increased by 3 more percent, what will be the amount with some rate of interest, say some x percent. With that x percent interest, we received 1652 as amount. If that x percent is increased by 3 percent, if it becomes x plus 3 percent, what will be the amount is a question. So, the how generally we solve this question most of the students how they solve what is that x percent you try to find out the rate of interest right so you rate of interest how do you find out rate of interest principal is there amount is there difference 252 is anyway is the interest so principal 1400 simple interest 252 time is three years you can find out rate of interest that you get as six percent of course you calculate if that six percent has increased by three percent means it has become nine percent so 1400 is now principal, time is 3 years, rate of interest 9%, how much interest you will receive, add to principal, you get the amount. That is what is your answer, but I am not interested. This is a simple way, easy way, understand the question. We are increasing the rate of interest by 3%. With this 3% rate, whatever the extra interest you receive, you add that interest to the earlier amount that becomes the new amount right with three percent extra rate whatever the extra interest you receive your amount will be increased by that much how much interest we receive with this extra three percent three percent on 1400 one person is 14 rupees one person is 14 rupees three person means 42 rupees 42 rupees interest we receive that is for one year but 42 one year three years means 42 into 3 126 rupees okay so extra interest we receive with extra three person is 126 this you add to earlier amount earlier amount is we know 1652 now extra interest we received 126 so total new amount is 1778 is our answer 1778 is our answer that's it friends got it next one last one another interesting one we will see a man borrows 7000 rupees from a bank at simple interest. After three years, he paid 3000 rupees. And at the end of five years, from the date of borrowing, he paid 5450 to settle the account. What is the rate of interest? Okay, this is also interesting one. A person borrowed 7000 rupees from a bank, and after some time, he paid also. He, he, he cleared his amount along with the interest but it is not uh, like the total period 
first after three years he paid some money three thousand rupees he paid and after some more period some more period means from the beginning it is five years means after three years means another two years let us say so after two years he paid the balance money inclusive of interest he paid the balance five thousand four fifty is asking what is the rate of interest okay how we solve this question <clears throat> See, it is not the same, I mean, it is not the same period on same money, okay? On total, five years, he has not calculated interest on 7,000 rupees. Because after three years, he paid uh, back some money, okay? So, 3,000 rupees are paid. So, first three years, we calculate interest on 7,000 only, okay? After three years, first three years on 7,000 we have to calculate. After three years, he paid 3,000 back. So next 4,000 only, we have to calculate interest for next two years. That is how we have to calculate. Okay. How much interest he paid totally? First let us see. 7,000 years taken. After three years, he paid 3,000. After 3,000, he paid for 3,000 rupees and after that one balance 5,450 he paid. How much he paid? 8,450 he paid. He has taken 7,000, paid 8,450. How much interest he paid? 1,450 is the interest, total interest he paid. How much interest? That is uh, how much person, what is the rate of interest? That's what is asking. Okay, let us see here. How do you calculate? Interest first 7,000 rupees is for 3 years. What is the rate of interest? We don't know. This is a max person. And next 4,000 rupees will we have to calculate interest. That is for 2 years. What is the rate of interest? X percent. That is also same, no? So, interest on this one plus interest on this one is the total interest. 8,450. That is a conventional approach. For understanding purpose, I am giving this clarity. But I am not interested in this approach. See the simple way. Okay, I told you the rate of interest is the total interest on the total principal for one year is what percent? The interest on the principal for one year is what percent is the rate of interest? We know the total interest is 1450. Okay, the total interest is 1450. This 1450 is on what sum and how much money we calculated? It is not 7000. Okay, right. This is how much money? Let us see. For one year, it is to be calculated on one year. Okay, we know 7000 rupees, one year interest is how much? And three years means 7000, 7000, 7000. 21,000. So, interest on 7,000 for one year or interest on, I mean, uh, interest on 7,000 for three years or interest on 21,000 for one year is the same. You can get 7,000 each for three years or you can get total 21,000 for one year is one and the same. So, similarly, next 4,000 interest like that for two years is calculating. So, 4,000 for 2 years or 8,000 for 1 year is the same. So, what is the total interest we are calculating? We are calculating interest on 21,000. And next 2 years we are calculating interest on 8,000. So, totally on how much money we are calculating interest? 21,000 we are calculating interest. But we know that interest, how much we received? 1450. 1450 is what percent of 29,000 is the rate of interest? So, 1450 is what percent of 29,000 is the rate of interest? How much it is? So, 21, 5 times. 145 is our answer. So, rate of interest is 5% our answer. Right? So, you like these questions? In our next episode, we see some more questions. Thank you.